Welcome to the Automobile Brief. The content of the briefing includes. Forget the S&P 500. Pay attention to the S&P 493. Short sellers go after renewable and EV stocks. Portugal's economic plans in disarray after PM resignation. Auto wage hikes complicate the search for an affordable EV. Peloton bikes are on rare sale for $350 off during Amazon's early Black Friday. Forget the S&P 500. Pay attention to the S&P 493. Economist. Short sellers go after renewable and EV stocks. Yahoo! Investors shorted luxury EV startups Rivian and Lucid, along with EV giant Tesla, in October, according to a report from Hazeltree. The report assigns a crowdedness score, representing the securities that the highest percentage of funds are shorting. ExxonMobil replaced Tesla as the most crowded large-cap stock in October. Short selling of renewables Sunrun and Sunnova Energy featured in the crowdedness list of small-cap stocks. Portugal's economic plans in disarray after PM resignation. Financial Times. Portugal's expat tax reform and privatization plans have been put on hold following the resignation of Prime Minister Antonio Costa over a corruption scandal involving lithium mines. Prosecutors issued arrest warrants and raided government buildings as part of an investigation into possible corruption, malfeasance, and influence peddling. Costa denied wrongdoing but resigned, leaving the country in political limbo. The uncertainty also affects next year's budget, which aimed to tackle the cost of living crisis. The president will decide whether to appoint another prime minister or dissolve parliament and call a snap general election. Auto wage hikes complicate the search for an affordable EV. Bloomberg. The United Auto Workers, UAW, union has reached agreements with Ford, Stellantis and General Motors following strikes, with the UAW now planning to unionize factories run by Tesla, Hyundai and Volkswagen. The outcome will impact how many electric vehicles, EVs, make it onto U.S. roads and how much they cost. Labor costs are expected to rise, challenging the idea that EVs would be cheaper to make than combustion engine vehicles. It is unclear if the wage growth will be widespread, as most lithium-ion battery builders do not work under union labor. General Motors works with LG Energy Solution, Ford Motor with SK On and Stellantis with Samsung SDI. The UAW has called the joint ventures an attempt to lower labor costs. The UAW has prioritized getting joint venture factories into the union, with Fain saying he is confident about bringing all big three joint venture battery plants into the union by 2028. However, more union workers working on an EV will make the vehicle more expensive. Peloton bikes are on rare sale for $350 off during Amazon's early Black Friday. Yahoo! Amazon is currently offering a discount on the original Peloton bike as part of its early Black Friday deals. The Peloton bike is priced at $1,095, down from $1,445, which is an all-time low price according to price trackers. The Peloton bike is known for its smooth ride and wide variety of classes available through the Peloton app. The app offers a range of home workouts, including spin classes, bar, yoga, and strength training. The Peloton bike has received positive reviews from users who have praised its quality, variety of workouts, and low-impact nature. Although the bike is heavy, reviewers recommend professional assembly to ensure it is set up properly. The hardest thing about my new car had nothing to do with it being electric. The Sydney Morning Herald. The writer of this article discusses their experience of buying an electric vehicle, EV, and the challenges they faced. They explain that the decision to buy an EV was motivated by a desire to use newer technology and the increasing availability of EV charging stations. The author found charging the car to be convenient and range anxiety to be a non-issue. They also praised the quietness and acceleration of the EV. However, they did express frustration with the reversing camera and the constant beeping from the car's warning systems. Cruise recalls all of its self-driving cars to fix their programming. CNN. 
Cruise, the self-driving vehicle subsidiary of General Motors, has recalled all 950 of its autonomous vehicles for a software update. The move comes after Cruise paused all its public testing operations to investigate an incident in which one of its vehicles hit a pedestrian. After the incident, the company was suspended by the California Department of Motor Vehicles, which cited a lack of cooperation in the investigation. The update will alter the way the car responds after an impact is detected. Cruise doesn't sell its self-driving vehicles so all the cars are owned by either Cruise or GM. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.